Hi, my name is Adrian and welcome to Cyberlink Power Director 9. Today we're going to look at producing a video to a mobile device. The screen we have in front of us is the standard editing window of Power Director 9. I've completed my video and now I'm going to move into production. To do that we move up to the top, select our Produce tab, click on it and that will take us to the production window. We're going to produce to a mobile device so we must select the Device tab. This will then give us a series of presets that PowerDirector 9 supplies to us. Depending on our selection of preset here, we will have a number of options that will appear in this left-hand side. In essence, we may have a profile type, profile name, we may have some selections here for additional text within the video, with some details of encoding, bit rates, file sizes, and also with Cyberlink True Theatre Surround that we can choose. You may, depending on your hardware system, also have available fast video rendering technology, either SVRT or hardware video encoding. You may also have Dolby Digital and XV Color. Let's look quickly at the presets. We have here a file format for DV tapes. For HDV tapes, a specialized format for JVC GZMC series, portable MP4s, essentially for mobile phones, and then some file formats for Microsoft, Sony and Apple devices. Let's look at the mobile phones. When we select that, we can look at a different set of profiles relating to differing mobile phones. Let's choose the Nokia. When we've selected that, we have some phone models that we may choose. Let's choose the N95. We then have a profile name and a quality choice. And there is only one, 320 by 240. It is an H.264 video file and it produces an MP4 file. Let's move on and look at Microsoft. If we click on the Microsoft icon, we have a profile type relating to Xbox and Zoom. Let's choose the Xbox 360 HD 1080p. We have a brief description and we have some properties. You will notice that it produces a WMV file here. You'll also notice the file size and if we were to press the start button we would have time remaining and time elapsed. Let's look at the Sony devices. In essence, we have PSP and Walkman devices. You'll notice in any of these, we cannot configure them. They are all presets. We can choose the best quality PSP video. It's an H.264, so it will produce an MP4 file here. This box gives us a text that we can apply to the video. This is our Cyberlink True Theatre Surround and this one will give us some brief details on the codec, the bitrate, the width and the height, the got pattern and the audio codecs that are going to be used in this profile. All of these are presets remember and none can be changed. Let's look at the Apple devices. Here we can have iPod and iPhones or also iPads. We look at the profile names and we can have three best high and standard quality. If we look at best quality for the iPad, it gives us an H.264 video file producing an MP4 file here. We can apply Cyberlink Surround. And let's look at the details this time. It's an MPEG-4, it gives us the bit rate. It's 1280 by 720, the GOT pattern and the audio codec details. These all work exactly the same, but the options may be slightly different depending on your original choices. Which, when we have chosen whichever one we want, we press the start and we enter our production phase. And that's all there is to it really. If you need more information, you can always choose the help file by the question mark. And in this case, you will get the help file 
relating to ALP, and that's it. Thanks for listening to this PowerDirector 9 tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Thank mm -hmm. you.